Um, on behalf of the Six Branch leadership and our partners, I want to welcome everybody to uh, the Opera Operation Oliver and Mill K Jr. Day of Service. Um, a lot of people so far have been asking. <laughs> a lot of people have asked me, what is Operation Oliver? Our goal is the complete revitalization of this neighborhood. And now, I was, I was thinking yesterday about what I was going to say to introduce the event. And I decided just to wing it. <laughs> no. Yeah, believe it or not. But as we were given a tour of this neighborhood about a week ago, I described the Oliver neighborhood as a microcosm of Baltimore. Everything that's seen in Baltimore, all the social injustices can be typified here in this neighborhood. Oliver is a microcosm of Baltimore City as a whole. And I was thinking about how to relate that to Dr. Dr. King. And one of my one of my favorite quotes from Dr. Quing, from Dr. King, <laughs> Dr. Quing, in his letter from a Birmingham jail, he said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And it made me think about where all you guys are coming from. You got guys from D.C., Virginia, Pennsylvania, all over the place. And your service today is not about necessarily ser serving this neighborhood, although we will be doing this neighborhood a, a huge justice this morning. But by affecting change in this neighborhood, we're affecting injustice from wherever we come from. And I told everybody, everybody that's wearing a green shirt as part of the Sixth Branch leadership, I, I told them yesterday that today's a celebration as much a day of service as a day of fellowship. We're here to celebrate Dr. King and everything he stood for. And as our, uh, a year ago, our board chairman, my predecessor, Rich Blake, said that he was, uh, he thought that Dr. King would be ashamed of where we are as a society, that we haven't taken enough advances um, since his death. But far be it for me to, to disagree with Rich Blake. <laughs> I would have to disagree. I think we've made huge advances. I think he would be very proud of this turnout today. I'm not sure how cold it is. I stopped feeling it about an hour ago. But I'll tell you what, don't let anybody say that Baltimore is too far gone. There's way too many good people out here today braving through the 30 degree temperatures to say that we can't bring the city back or whatever city we came from. And I'm, ha I'm happy to have all of you out here today. Um, seeing everybody out here, I'd say close to 300 people, maybe. It reminds me. <laughs> it actually reminds me of the fact that Operation Oliver started with just one man. Standing next to me is Earl Johnson from the 6th Branch. He's also the president of Come Home Baltimore, the developer working in this neighborhood. And everything that you see before you started from him just with a broom cleaning up his block and a social mission a social movement evolved from that. So I want to ask Earl to ask to say a few words about MLK and why we're all here. I'm not as funny as Dave, so <laughs> yeah, I'm funny looking. <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of exciting to see everybody out here. You know, it, it, Operation Oliver is a it's a multi-pronged thing. You know, it's not just me. It's not just Dave, it's not just Sixth Branch. You know, we have Come On Baltimore, who is uh, developing houses in the neighborhood. That's important. You know, we're out here to make it easier for people to want to come back to Baltimore. This is what it's all about. It's about bringing people back to this city. 
Uh, everyone loves Baltimore. I mean, I've only been here about three years. And I fall in love with Baltimore. I didn't know what Stupin was until I came here. And now you can't keep me off my stoop. <laughs> That's all I do. You know, why don't I sit in my backyard and sit on the steps instead? Uh, but if we don't start bringing people back here, we're going to lose the city. And we can't depend upon the city to do everything on its own. It's up to us to take back our own city, our own green spaces, and our own, and our own backyards. And that's what I attempted to do. I mean, I, I was very unsuccessful with a broom, you know? But when the call went out for help to fellow veterans, when the call went out for social enterprises like the one that David runs to come on Baltimore to, to step up and make a difference in the neighborhood, they stepped up. And they started reaching out to people like you, people who may not be from Baltimore, people who may not have knew Oliver even existed. But here we are on one of the coldest days of the year, on a green space that you're probably very unfamiliar with, in a neighborhood that probably none of you know about, but you're here, and you're here to work. And I'm like, really like choked up about that. And everyone knows I'm a very emotional person. So it's very important to me if y'all being here. You know, a lot of people say um, that there's no revolution in our time, that there'll never be another huge revolution. You know, Martin Luther King, he, he stood up for what that generation needed to stand up for. And we've come a long way. But this is our revolution. Poverty is our revolution. Crime is our revolution. Despair is our revolution. Now, we don't have bayonets, we don't have weapons, but we have our minds and we have our bodies. And I really do expect everyone to pour every ounce of their spirit into this ground so that when you leave here, you can say that a piece of you is in all. Y'all gonna do that? Yeah. I can't, come on, we're veterans. I can't. Y'all gonna do that? All right.